Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and um, I'm working on some of Scott's reels, and I've worked on this one before, and I got it back to Scott. Scott took it fishing and said, you know, I'm just not happy with the drags in this. Uh, could you do me a favor and check them out and uh, replace, if necessary, with the Carbon Tex uh, drag washers? So, of course, that's something I'm going to want to do. And I figured I'd show you how to do that while I'm in the process. While I went ahead and ordered the drag washers, I take Scott's word for it. They're not holding, they're not holding. This is the Quantum Iron Reel. This is the Iron 410C. It's a round bait casting reel that uh, has a wider frame to it. And we did a tune-up on this one a while ago, and you can find that tune-up in my library. But what we're going to do here is show you how to replace the drag washers, and essentially, with the exception of some cleaning and some lubrication, it's going to follow the same process uh, as a service would. So if you have one of these reels or any of the, the round iron reels, uh, well, you'll see the drive side come off and how to, uh, how to deal with the replacement of those washers. If you are interested in these type of topics, if you like to see reel repair, if you like to learn about fishing reels and how they're made, and if you'd like to uh, kind of explore the hobby of real repair and maybe even form a small business well I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe to my channel please use the notification button to uh, get the alerts as to when I'm posting so that you can make a determination as to whether you want to watch that or not all right well we've been removing I took off the star adjuster and there's a little spacer collar underneath that as I take the pieces and parts off they go into my parts tray use the bottom of a uh, fast food container and then we should be able to do a couple of things here we have to remove the side plate I've removed the two thumb screws which hold the side plate to the frame but that doesn't allow me to remove everything one of the things that's kind of unusual about this reel you have to remove the little flipper switch override so use this a Phillips head screwdriver and take that piece off Again, I put those into my parts tray just so I don't lose them going forward. Yeah, Scott had this reel out on a fishing trip and he said that the drags failed on him and that's always a shame. Well, that one went flying but I found it. And that too will go into the parts tray. Alright, so that cover can't come off because the stud goes outside of that. And then these two will enable us to remove it now. So this is kind of a funny setup to this reel. There's two sets. It's not a single cover. It's a two-stage two cover. You have this metal shield on the outside. And then you have this other shield on the inside that uh, is the housing for this. So it's kind of, kind of different in approach. All right, so we can take the first part off, and you can see we have a double set here. And then underneath here, we have our drag set up. So take a picture of the reels when you open them up, just so you know where they are and uh, how to go back together again. You'll notice a couple of things going on here on this shaft. We have another spacer washer and a burring shield and a burring and an insane anti-reverse. That's all on the top. We have these two big springs sitting on the yokes. I'm get those off in a hurry because you don't want those to do what the other button did. And also on this one, kind of interestingly, you have an offset on the yoke. So one side of the yoke is uh, shorter than the other side is. That's always a good place to take a picture because that will remind you which goes where and uh, how it goes. All right, I'm going to just remove it. We're going to replace the drag washers, so that's in this stack. In order to do that, we want to take the bearing and the two washers off. Put that into the tray. Notice that you have another bearing shield underneath, and then you have your anti-reverse. The bearing shield is just kind of sticking inside there, but I'm going to leave that there because that's going to tell me what is the top side of that uh, instant anti-reverse clutch. And we have the collar which goes inside the clutch. Now we can remove the main gear, 
And inside the main gear is where we have that drag washer. Well, I ordered the replacement drag washer for this as a carbon tex. This is a, a very thick one and it's easy to see probably why it uh, is slipping. It's just it's a very thin kind of mesh out material there and I'm told the carbon tex that the replacement is actually a lot thinner. So you have two options with this. You can trust that the thinness of this can still be compressed or you can double up on the carbon tex. And what I did was because I knew that they were going to be close on a doubled size, I'm going to put the double layer in there as opposed to the one. And if when we test it, if it becomes, a, if it, it's not working properly, we'll go remove one. Carbon tex can be installed uh, greased or dry. I'm going to run this one dry. And we're going to go ahead and take that and install that. Notice underneath here, for those of you seeing it for the first time, you have a forked anti-reverse dog. That's a backup. That's a fail-safe because you do have the AR clutch underneath. When servicing the reel, you would remove your yoke, just like I've done there. You would remove your pinion gear, give it a good greasing. This one has just been serviced. And then you would reinstall over the top here. All right, we're going to take the gear. I'm going to put a little bit more grease on there, just for fun. These, uh, these were built to compete with all the other round bait casters out there. The, the Daiwa Millionaire, the Abus, of course, and others. They, uh, they were kind of a, uh, an affordable alternative to some. And uh, I like them. They're, they're good reels. But uh, you won't find as many of these around as you will some of the others that have kind of made a name for themselves. Also, I don't think they're making them anymore. All right, I want to get this collar on. I want to make sure that the collar is clean. This one is always a little bit problematic because you have to mesh that with the plate here. So I'm going to just take the plate out. That's always a little bit easier to do. I'm going to grab the two springs here. As I mentioned, this is a two-piece plate, which I don't find very often. Then I'm just going to bring this over. I'm going to rotate the main gear just like that until I can get my plates on the side and my main uh, anti-reverse clutch in the grooves that are cut for that on this side. Once you do that, you can grab the main plate then. There's two holes where these are going to go, one on each side. So line those up first. And then you kind of walk it through. I'm going to just kind of keep all of this together here as best I can. And then I'm going to tighten all of that down with the thumb screws first. When you tighten it down with the thumb screws, you're always in better condition. Now you can kind of take your hands free and not worry about it. Next up, I'm going to take that little guy that took a flyer on me, the flipper switch. Put that back on. I know I took that off somewhere in the process there. Just have to align the cut. There we go. And the screw that goes with it. And if you have any questions on this reel or any reel in particular, maybe even like where did you get the drags from? <laughs> I got these from smoothdrag.com. But uh, if you want to know sources for parts, if you want to know a little bit more about the history of the reel, if you have any questions concerning 
uh, drag washers in general. There's multiple types of drag washers. Just because uh, Carbon Tex is available doesn't mean you need to use Carbon Tex washers when you replace your drag washers. And uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to all of them. So if you have any questions on that or any reel, maybe you're working on a reel and uh, you're having an issue with it, uh, I'd be happy to help if I can help solve that. All right, we're going to take the next step then would be our <coughs> shield washer. There's a little burring shield. And we have the bowing. And we have the spacer. And we have the star adjuster. And we're on our way back out here. that to pull down the adjustments on this. And this is where I'm a little bit concerned with whether we're going to be able to get the leverage we need here. Well, we certainly are. <laughs> it's just when you look at the internals of this one, this spacing will always tell you how much drag you have left. If this collar is all the way down on the bottom of the, uh, the piece, then by all means you have uh, no drag left. We're going to have enough for adjustment, so I'm going to leave that, um, that double washer in there. I imagine we could have done it with the one, but I think that we'll be fine with the two. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten up the handle net. I'm going to see if I can back off the adjuster. So I can't. So what I need to do is to take this apart and just go with the single washer. So I'm going to turn that off. It's the same process that you just saw. I'll come back with the single washer and we'll see how we did. Okay, we're back. So what I did was basically the same process that I did in the first part of this video. We removed all of the side plate. We got back to the main gear and I did remove one of those washers. As it turns out, there's still plenty of spacing available. On the drag, you can see if this collar was pressed against the side here, you would not have a lot of adjustment. There's plenty of adjustment left here, and more importantly, you can back the uh, adjuster off. This is a very tight holding one now, and I think Scott will be happy with the results. So, as we saw, the, the one was a very smooth and worn drag washer. These have the, the cross hatchings in them and uh, there's much more flexibility to them. So that's how you do it. That's how you can upgrade or change out the drag washers in a Quantum 4, uh, 410C fishing reel. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. To uh, all of our first responders and essential personnel, thank you very much for all it is that you do to keep us safe. And to everyone, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.